Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy Express with Amazon EKS. The prerequisite for this is that you'll need AWS CLI installed, kubectl, and EKS CTL installed as well. So I've created a folder here, and I'm going to run npm init. And npm install express. And I'll create an app.js. And I'm just going to paste in this hello world code here. And I'm going to run this. Let's make sure it's working. All right, let's create a Docker file. Okay, and then let's build the image. And then let's run this. And just to make sure it's working. Okay. Now in AWS, you're going to want to go to ECR. And then we'll want to create a repository here. And we'll say that this is um that's chaos and create repository and then there is our repository and then now i'm going to click on view push commands um so uh, this here and then i'm just going to follow these commands here All right, so back in the terminal, I'm going to run first command, login. And then I'm going to run the build again. And then I'm going to tag this. And then finally, I'm going to push this to ECR. So this has finished pushing to the container registry. Uh, so next, we'll want to create our uh, Kubernetes cluster. So I'm going to run EKSCTL, create cluster, my cluster, region 2. So that took uh, about 10 minutes to run, uh, and it's finally ready. So let's run kubectl get uh, service, and just make sure we can connect to our cluster. OK. For the next step, let's create a Kubernetes configuration file. Paste this in, and then I'm going to replace this with the new image URL. Okay. 
And then let's apply this. All right, our deployment was created and our service was created. So let's get pod and it says our container is creating. Okay, our container is running now. So uh, let's uh, open a shell. All right, so, yeah. so now we're inside the pod. Uh, just to make sure everything looks okay. get service just to make sure our load balancer is there okay and let's copy this URL here and do an NS okay so uh, do a curl on that Rip. We see our hello world. So, what if we want to deploy new versions of our code um, to our cluster? Well, to do that, uh, we'll have to tag our images with the unique tag. And typically, people will use the latest Gitshaw to do that. Uh, so, first, uh, we'll have to create a Git repo. to ignore known modules. So okay. And, that. and um and this is the command that we want to use. Get the latest SHA. You can see that that is indeed the latest one. All right, so now uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a deploy script. And uh, I had already created this earlier, so uh, I'll just quickly explain what this is doing. So we're getting the latest SHA, then we're tagging our image. And then we are pushing that to our container registry. And then after that, we are setting our deployment image. And note that um, this is the name of our deployment, my app. Uh, but typically, you probably want to use a more descriptive name there. All right, so save. And let's run the deploy script. So it turned out that I had a couple of things wrong. I forgot uh, the dot here. So that was the first thing. So you need a dot. And then also the name of my deployment was actually my app and not Express EKS. So with that, um, I will oops, have a look at the log. OK, so let's go into the app and then change this to hello world two and um, commit that. Wait. And then let's run the script. it says our deployment has been updated. Now let's verify that our deployment succeeded. So I'll do a kubectl get deployment. Okay, and then 
SQL prime comment my app. And we can see that this is our SHA, so CF4. Uh, so we'll do a log, and we can see that CF4 is the latest. Um, okay, get SVC. And let me copy this URL again. And Perl. And we get a hello world too. Now the final step is to delete the cluster uh, so that you can avoid the large AWS bill. So to do that, you can write EKS CTL, delete cluster name my cluster. All right, and that concludes. Uh, this tutorial on how to deploy Express with Amazon EKS. For more information on full stack development, check out my website at fullstackbook.com. Thank you.